Hi everyone. Our topic is about Romanitism by Incredible Fox. My members, Song Gazlin Jane, Gakko Jumari, and Mark Joseph Kalong. Romanitism. Introduction to Romanitism. Romanitism has very little to do with things popularly thought of as romantic, although love may occasionally be the subject of the romantic art. Rather, it is an international artistic and philosophical movement that ref defined the fundamental ways in which people in Western cultures thought about themselves and about their world. The Romanitism is a state of being romantic or affectionate in a sentimental way, or an 18th century movement in the arts and literature that emphasized nature, imagination, emotion, and the individual. The historical considerations Romanitism is an artistic and intellectual movement that took place towards the end of the 18th century and the beginning of the 19th century in England, Germany, and France, and then spread throughout the world. It is one of the curiosities of literacy history that the strongholds of the Romantic movement were England and Germany, not the countries of the Roman languages themselves. Romanitism assigned a high value to the achievements of heroic individualists and artists whose examples it maintained would raise the equality of society. It also promoted the individual imagination as a critical authority allowed of freedom from classical notions of form and art. The imagination was elevated to a position as a supreme faculty of the mind. This contrasted distinctly with the traditional arguments for the supremacy of reason. The Romantics tended to define and to present the imagination as our ultimate shaping or creative power, the approximate human equivalent of the creative powers of nature or even duty. It is dynamic and active rather than passive power with many functions. Imagination is the primary faculty for creating all art. Nature. Nature meant many things to the Romantics. As suggested above, it was often presented as itself a work of art constructed by a divine imagination and emblematic language, for example, through hot song of myself. Whitman makes a practice of presenting commonplace items in nature and heath detons and folk weed as containing divine elements and he refers to the grass as a natural hygrolepic, the handkerchief of the Lord, least of the artists, liberty leading the people, Eugene de la Croix. Known as one of the biggest supporters of a movement that is known as the July Revolution, this event occurred in France during the summer of 1830 and consisted of many of the nation's lower class citizens revolting against King Charles X. The artist painted this work shortly after the revolution to commemorate the overthrow of the king. The Raft of Medusa, Theodore Garicop. The Medusa, a French warship that was active during the Napoleonic Wars of the early 19th century, was lost after crashing into a large sandbank in the Atlantic Ocean in 1860. The Raft of Medusa, originally titled Seen the Naufrage, is an oil painting of 1880-19 to by the French Romantic painter and lithographer Theodore Garicot. Completed when the artist was 27 work was become an icon of French Romanticism. To do this painting, Garicot studied for a long time the effects of refraction of light on human body, and for this reason he drew a lot of preparatory sketches. The Rough of Medusa was also his most controversial painting. It drew from French critics over the political implications and ambiguity of whether the men of the raft were to be rescued or not. Critics thought it too gruesome, too realistic. Wanderer Above the Sea of Fog This is Caspar David Friedrich Known for his paintings that feature human figures set against starry night skies and wide open vistas His work titled Wanderer Above the Sea of Fog is of a similar nature as it portrays a young explorer perched atop a rocky outcrop overlooking a fog-covered valley below And next is the 3rd of May 1808 Francisco Goya such was the case for Francisco Goya when he painted one of the most iconic Spanish paintings of the Romantic movement titled the 3rd of May 1808. This painting was done 
commemorate the events that occurred in Madrid during the first few days of May 1808. The city was invaded and overtaken by Napoleon Bonaparte's army in the spring of the year. The Spaniards that were left in the city rose up against the French occupying forces on May 2, 1808 in a futile effort to make to take Madrid back. And this is the Francisco Sibelius art. And next is Clarinda Rescuist Olendo and Soprani. And the artist is Eugene de Clorex. One of the Eugene de Clorex most noted works from the Germanitism movement focuses on a story taken from a popular poem by the Tercato Tazo that was published in 1581. The poem centers around the story of Florenda, a lady known as a valiant warrior and great leader among the warlike courtial of Sacraen army in the desert areas near Jerusalem. The Lurker X created a painting known as a Florenda Rescue is Olendo in 1856. The work portrays Clarenda riding into Jerusalem to stop execution of two lovers from the opposing army. And this is the art of Eugene de Clara X. And the chosen artist is Eugene de Clara X. The artist Eugene de Clara X. Year 1830. Location Louvre, Paris, France. Grand Ducal Palace, Luxembourg City, and Luxembourg. Born April 26, 1798, at Carenton St. Maurice, Paris, and France. And he died August 24, 1863, at Paris or France. In his genre, history painting and symbolic painting. And movements and styles, Romanitism. Orientalism, Primitivism in Art Painter Eugene de Clorox was one of the leading artists of French Romantic period of the 19th century. Eugene de Clorox was born in Carenton St. Maurice, France on April 26, 1798. He received his artistic training in Paris and became known as a leading figure of the French Romantic era of the 19th century. De Clara X received his first commission in 1819 for the Church of Arc Cement in France, for which he created the Virgin of the Harvest. A year later, he was invented by Theodore Garicol to assist with a commission for the Cathedral of Nantes. De Clara X painted of the final work Virgin of the Sacred Heart, 1822, and split the fee with Garicol. De La X had befriended the older artist when both men were students of Guerin. De La X had been greatly moved when he saw Gary Colt's Raff of the Medusa 1818-18-1819 and Gary Colt in turn recognized the talent of his young friend. In his history, by the time De La X painted Liberty leading the people, he was already the acknowledged leader of the Romantic school in French painting. De La X, who was born at the age of enlightenment, was giving way to the ideas and style of Romanticism and rejected the emphasis on precise drawing that characterized the academic art of his time, and instead gave a new prominence to freely brush color. And the symbolism. De La X depicted liberty as both an oligarchical goddess figure and a robust woman of the people. The mound of corpses and wreckage acts as a kind of pedestal from which liberty strides, barefoot and bare-breasted, out of the canvas and into the space of the viewer. According to Marcus Riedeker, she might have been inspired by a Dutch portrait of a fighting Anne Bonny. The Phrygian cap was weird had come to symbolize liberty during the first French Revolution of 1789. The painting has been seen as a marker to the end of the Age of Enlightenment as many scholars see the end of the French Revolution as the start of Romantic Era. And then, acknowledgement. 
we cannot express enough thanks to our group for our continued support and unity to accomplish this task. To my cousin, like our relative, for letting me borrow her laptop, and I offer my sincere appreciations for the learning opportunities provided by my groupmates. My completion of this project could not have been accomplished without the supports of our group and the internet especially, Google and our sources for the given topic. This is our work citation. Thank you for listening to our report.